For our senior project, we partnered with Pan American Seed Research Facility in Guadalupe, California. The facility is involved in researching how to grow the most desirable flowers. The seeds they produce at Pan American are the beginning stages to the flowers you eventually see at your local Home Depot or other garden centers. This quarter, we helped create a fun and exciting field trip for elementary students. At the beginning of the quarter, we met with Rob, who is the plant facility manager. We began by listening to his vision for the field trip. Next, we spent our time learning all about the facility. Our goal was to develop a hands-on, engaging field trip that correlated with the next generation science standards. We primarily focused on fourth grade students by expanding on what they learned in third grade about plants and their life cycles, as well as relating the field trip to what they are currently learning in science. Originally, we planned on having seven different stations for the students to rotate through. They would tour the facility in groups of four to five and have a staff member present at each station. This ended up being a challenge because we discovered we only had the availability of four staff members to host the stations. After planning most of the field trip, we had to change the layout, but not the curriculum. As we were planning, we thought it would be a good idea to get a fourth grader's insight. So we brought in two fourth graders and casually showed them around. We toured the entire facility with them and honed in on their reactions and questions they had. This was extremely helpful for our planning. In the beginning stages of development, we correlated the field trip curriculum with the next generation science standards. We saw a couple major themes throughout the facility. One theme of the field trip is the overall life cycle of a plant and how plants grow from seed to flower. Another theme is the facility creates a perfect environment for flower production. We designed four different stations for the students to rotate through, each with a main takeaway. In the lab room, students put on a lab coat and booties before entering the lab. Next, the lab technician explained to the students what happens in the lab. The students got to hang handle some plant cuttings. Then the students got to learn how agar is made. They also got to see a room designed for optimi optimized photosynthesis. Another station the students toured was the tractor building. Here. Here, students were able to observe soil filling machines and learn how soil contains nutrients for plants to grow. Students also got the opportunity to sow their own seeds to understand that seeds need different environments to germinate. The flowers would later be delivered to their school to take home or plant in the school garden. In the greenhouse area, students learned about hand pollination. They received hand lenses to view parts of a flower. They got to pull the petals away from the flower and observe the reproductive structures up close. Students also learn about how the flowers are harvested to gather their seeds. Plants with desirable traits are chosen by plant breeders and crossed through hand pollination. The result is a new generation with a variety of traits that can be observed visually. Lastly, in the seed processing area, students were able to see how the capsules, pods, and flowers are dried and cleaned. They were able to observe how seed cleaning is done by hand and with a machine. Students also got to handle vials with different types of seed and play a guessing game about seed quantity. For our pilot field trip, we had the pleasure of working with Mrs. Miller's fourth grade class from Mary Buren Elementary. We crafted a two-minute field trip orientation video for the students to watch. The video took on a what to expect format. The students eagerly arrived the morning of the field trip. This was a fun and exciting day for all of those who had been helping with designing the field trip. At the beginning of the field trip, the students all gathered in the lobby. There, they were each given a clipboard, name tag, and activity booklet. After they learned about the history of Pan American Seed, the students were able to view an old fire extinguisher and see old pictures of what the facility used to look like. Finally, the students separated into their groups and began their tour. The students participated in the hands-on activities, observations, and demonstrations we designed at each station. One obstacle we encountered during the field trip was the timing at each station. We ended up needing five more minutes than we had scheduled. Luckily, we warned the teacher ahead of time that it could possibly be an issue. We didn't want to finalize any of the materials for the very first field trip. Now that we've had one run through, we are planning and adjusting for our second field trip on April 8th. We are also developing a teacher resource that includes lessons and information about Pan American. The most rewarding part of our project was experiencing the first field trip. Having the students come and participate made all of our planning worthwhile. The excitement and enthusiasm of the students showed the field trip was successful.
The project was a great synthesis of all of the classes we have taken during our college careers. There were no resources available on how to create a field trip, so we are looking forward to being that resource for people who might be interested in doing so. We are excited to bring our own classes on the field trip at Pan American one day.